the different traits, conscientiousness is probably the most important for leading a successful and healthy life. If you score high in conscientiousness, it means you're self-disciplined, you've got self-control, you're prepared to uh, you know, sacrifice immediate rewards for longer term gains. And people who are high in conscientiousness, they tend to have better physical health, they tend to do better in their careers, uh, they earn more money, uh, they tend to have more stable relationships. So if you're going to choose one trait to score highly on, conscientiousness would probably be the one. People can definitely change. So the famous American psychologist William James, back in the late 19th century, he famously said that our personalities are set in stone by age 30, beyond which we can't change anymore. We now have a lot more data than he had available to him and we know that actually we continue, our personalities change right the way through life. We don't, you know, transform completely, but we, we mature through life. And if I just give you one example, probably the most extreme example was a study of Scottish teenagers, actually, uh, which started around the 1950s. And they had personality data, the researchers on these teenagers, and they were able to catch up with them again 63 years later, when they're about 77 years old. And they asked them to take the same personality measures and they had a friend rate them on the same personality measures. And across that 63 year period, there was no longer any correspondence between their personality test scores when they're a teenager and when they're in their 70s, showing they had, uh, in this case, you know, they seem to have changed utterly. Uh, it is an extreme example. Other long-term studies show that we change we do change our personalities, but we also, in some ways, you know, you can see a thread of continuity as well. I think probably the most common myth about the brain is the 10% brain myth, the idea that we only use 10% of our brains. And it's probably the most popular or commonly believed brain myth because of uh, movies like um, Lucy, the Luc Besson movie Lucy and uh, Limitless as well was another one where they have as a plot theme that you know if you, if you take this pill or you take these drugs or whatever you can then utilize 100% of your brain power but it's a complete myth it's easy to debunk this myth because if someone lies in a brain scanner and you watch their brain activity uh, you can see the whole of the brain is being used if someone sometimes has just a tiny amount of brain damage it can be catastrophic obviously wouldn't be the case if we we're only using a small part of our brains and I think the reason it's such a popular myth as well that it never goes away is because it's easy to sort of know exactly what someone means when they say we only use 10% of our brain if you think of it in terms of our potential then it's easy to see why it's appealing uh, the idea that we are all capable of achieving more we obviously we can always learn more languages learn more skills so if you're talking about someone's potential to learn then there is a kernel of truth to the myth.